Okay, hi there. Welcome to another in our series of short videos looking at exchange rates. This time, let's think about a currency that's been going up in value and the causes behind that. After the example I've chosen for us today is the Mexican peso. So currency appreciation is an increase in the value of one currency relative to another currency, or it could be an increase relative to a basket of currencies. It means that the appreciating currency becomes stronger and its purchasing power goes up in the exchange rate market. So, for example, sterling, if we were talking about sterling, they might appreciate from £1 buys $1.20 to £1 buys $1.40. Of course, sterling appreciation would also mean dollar depreciation. Now, the example I've chosen here for us is the Mexican peso, one of the strongest currencies in recent times, in particular during 2023. Here's the chart showing the Mexican peso against the US dollar basically how many pesos you have to give up to buy one dollar and you can see it's been falling uh, and if you go back to the early part of the pandemic 2020 it was nearly 25 peso to the dollar it's now below 20 carrying on growing in the sense getting stronger you only have, now have to give up 17 mexican peso to buy one us dollar so this chart shows an increase in the appreciation in the Mexican peso and a depreciation in the US dollar. Very interesting because Mexico, of course, is part of USMCA, has a free trade agreement with the United States, and obviously there's a, a significant border between the two countries. So why might the Mexican currency have been appreciating, increasing in value? Well, here are three, three reasons. There's probably more than that, but here are three, I think, valid reason that makes sense to me. One is monetary policy. The Mexican Central Bank uh, started raising their interest rates to control inflation faster than the US Federal Reserve did. And therefore, Mexican interest rates in relative terms were higher. And that, of course, typically leads to an inflow of hot money looking for the best relative interest rate into the Mexican banking system. So one reason is that Mexican interest rates have been rising quite strongly to combat inflation, and that's attracted short-term hot money into the Mexican economy, if that makes sense, causing the Mexican peso to appreciate. Now, the second one is more, not, not that short-term, it's, but it's really important, nearshoring. So Mexico as a country is now becoming very attractive to manufacturing companies, global corporations, who want to relocate manufacturing into Mexico and then export into the USA, of course, USMCA, the free trade agreement, to avoid the tariffs that, for example, might have been applied if you've been in producing in China and exporting to the States. So a lot of companies are diversifying their operations away from China. They need to find a manufacturing base somewhere. Mexico, relatively, relatively good productivity, low labor cost. And of course, you've got tariff free access into the States on most products. So they're manufacturing in Mexico, exporting to the States. And that is essentially an injection of money into the Mexican economy, both investment and exports, driving the peso higher. And the third reason is remittances. Uh, in 2022, I haven't got the figures for 23 yet, but go back to 2022. Mexicans living in the United States sent home over a billion dollars of remittance flows per week. Back to Mexico. Just under 5% of Mexican GDP came into the Mexican economy in the form of remittances. And that has been a factor. Uh, people swapping their dollars for Mexican peso uh, so they can send the money home to their families. That's been a key factor driving the Mexican peso higher. Hope that made sense. Nice little example of three factors that might cause a currency appreciation. Thanks for joining in. Take care, stay safe, stay curious and see you sometime soon.